to WRPB and WRPB Studios. Okay, so if you watch the station, you'll recognize the gentleman next to me, even though he's wearing different clothes. Um, Stephen Giordano is running for Sheriff St. Lucie County. Yes, sir. So Kevin Scar is retiring. Yes, sir. And Hester was going to run and choose not to. Yes. So we have to put somebody in there, and we have to put someone in there that has some knowledge about the system, and that's me. One of the things we spoke about, yes, and I've spoken about it on my shows prior, is who has the harder job, the road guy or the correction guy, and the correction guy has the toughest job, I think, within the whole justice system. Yes, can't pull me in between because being in law enforcement nowadays whether you're corrections or law enforcement, is just a very hard job in itself. We know that. Yeah. But I think corrections is really tough because you're only protected by your mouth and your knowledge. Yeah. Which gives you, in my opinion, extra credibility in running for office. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I was a correctional officer of St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office for almost 10 years. Um, I received numerous awards along the way, accommodations. I was the kitchen deputy for five years. Um, I was in control of a lot of things in the kitchen, making sure everything was done in a timely manner. Um, it was very rewarding being able to have that position. Um, I learned a lot. Um, a lot of interpersonal skills dealing with um, a lot of different things goes into running a kitchen when you have approximately... At the time, it was fluctuating, but about 1,400 inmates at the time. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and everything has to be on point. Well, deliveries, food. You say it's, that it's a lot. It's in a the lot. kitchen, but it has to be on point, even not in the kitchen. Yeah. Because <clears throat> you don't have a gun, you don't have no. a nightstick, you don't no. have anything. No. So everything that you fix within or everyday life within the prison has to be county jail county jail yeah has to be things that you've learned sure things that you've learned about correction sure and the ability to think on the spot yep. using your head absolutely and i'm not taking away from road officers safety is number one always safety okay. is always first but there's just something about have take, I took a tour of the jail in Palm Beach, uh, the prison in Palm Beach County, and I'm like, man, you guys have it really tough. You guys really need to be on the mark and know everything. Sure. So to. why did you decide to run? Um, like you said, uh, an individual had dropped out, um, and I didn't see anybody um, going in, and I said, I've been in the community here in St. Lucie County since about 1989 to 1990, and I had the knowledge of the Department of St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office, as well as being a dual certified officer. I got in 2014 to be qualified to go to the road. And I had the knowledge of the jail, and I just felt like it was a win-win for the community. If we could have somebody that ran, that actually knows the, the, the Department of St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office, the individuals working there, I already have a, a relationship and a rapport with them, as well as a very good rapport with a lot of the residents here in St. Lucie County growing up here, going to Westwood, Forest Grove, Centennial, uh, Parkway Elementary School, being involved in my son's sports at Sportswoods Park, growing up playing baseball. I was a coach, an assistant coach. I'm very actively involved, especially now here in St. Lucie County. So it's it's a lot of positivity <coughs> and people helping me out, and it's a lot of love. So I'm overwhelmed, actually. St. Lucie <coughs> County is in a growth mode. Sure. More than it probably can handle infrastructure-wise. Sure. So what's your plan to like solve some of these issues, and I know nothing is definitive, but I know that driving on some of our roads here is a nightmare. Yes. Okay, and crime has become a nightmare. Yes. And it needs—I hate to say this way—it needs fresh blood. Sure. And not and I've never been in politics before either, by the way. Okay. I'm from <laughs> fresh into, and I, I get a lot of that from a lot of people when I meet them. I say, "Hey, I'm new into this," and they love that. They like that. They right. don't want you know, people intertwined. They they want some fresh blood, and I am that fresh blood here for you, all residents of St. Lucie County. I care about you. 
sincerely, and I even had this happen. <laughs> <laughs> and it, really, you, your position should never really be brought around politics anyway. Yeah, I don't care about politics. I want to be here for the residents. That's all I care right. about. I just want to do the job. I want to, I want to do the job as best as my ability. I want to act on it. I'm very proactive on everything that I do. I'm a successful businessman. I have a beautiful fiance that supported me throughout this whole journey. Uh, my seven-year-old son, Stephen SG3, we call him. He's the third. <laughs> uh, my daughter, Camilla Rose. We're very active in the community, and I'm just, I just want to do the job and help the residents out. That's my main focus. Well, one, another benefit that you have, <clears throat> in my opinion, is your other job is real estate. Correct. I don't. I don't. I'm deferred that right now to That's another fine. individual. But yeah. you've done real estate. Yes. Which me in St. Lucie County. Yes. Which means you know the streets. Absolutely. You know the roads. Absolutely. Okay. 100%. You know the neighborhoods. Yes. That's a, a, a super advantage. Yes. Okay. Because when something comes down, you know the area. Well, I know the people. I worked at the local county jail for ten years. You know how many people I talked to, uh, helping out in booking. You know. Uh, fighting the gangs, knowing the tattoos, knowing the community. I can walk down from Avenue D from one side to the other and people, hey Gio, that's my nickname because my last name's Giordano when I was at the jail. Uh, a lot of people have nicknames and they called me Gio. So being involved in Fort Pierce and knowing the community and knowing Port St. Lucie, it's just, it's really a win-win for everybody. Oh, without a doubt because <clears throat> for some, look, I'm living up here 10 years and I still get lost. <laughs> so you having a real estate background. Yeah. Gives you the background to know where things are, sure. So that you can get you can get people out to where they got to be. Yeah. Um, probably expedite them quicker than in a timely most. manner. Yep. You know, it's a business. What do you think that you want to change? So, you mentioned earlier about the, a lot of residents moving to St. Lucie County in a very high fashion. I believe at one point there was an article where there was like a thousand residents a day. So there's a lot of people that have a voice but that aren't heard. So in my business cards, I have upholding an open door policy for all residents and all personnel. For every problem, there's a solution. So I want to deal with all residents. I want, to talk, I want to talk with you personally as your next sheriff and say, hey, whatever the problem is, let's come to a solution for it. It might make, take me a couple years, but we'll get there. And I want to improve our community observation patrol because a lot of people see things. So if you see, say, if you see something, say something. Let's, let's work together. Okay, so... <clears throat> that was always a question because I remember as a kid, back in the dinosaur days, we dinosaur had days. CB set, CB radios, okay, and we had community patrols, okay, and we watched over everything, okay, and we had communication. So I, I think that that has fallen off the radar a bit. The COP program. Yep, and okay. I think bringing it back. Stronger no than idea. ever. I want to bring it back stronger than ever. There's a lot of people that want to help out, but we need to get them actively involved. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm very proactive. Whatever it takes to get the job done, let's get it done. Okay, so <clears throat> we know that the position you're getting into, it, there's no instant gratification. So people, It's not about me. It's about the community. Yeah, but you, you still, know? you can't, things are, some things you can't fix overnight. Okay, and I think that we're we're very lucky in that we live in. I mean, I'm sitting here complaining about traffic and about crime, but God knows I can tell you thousands of other areas are a hundred times worse than we are. Sure. Okay, so for me, you know, I can complain about tra traffic. We need to be very aggressive on traffic it is absurd and ridiculous some of the things that i just see as a civilian right now driving some of the infractions i mean speeding over 20 30 miles an hour is just absurd because there is too many lives right now being lost here in st lucie county due to recklessness and that's one thing i'm very passionate about and strong about is the safety of our community we need to be a safer cleaner nicer community for everybody Re my you know it's funny because when I come to a light that's turning yellow, it's a tough decision for everybody to decide whether to stop yeah. or go through it because the person behind you might say, I'm going through it, and that's never good. No. You know, so what about your interactions with EMS, fire, and stuff like that? How does the Sheriff's Department interact, or how are your plans to interact with those people? Because you guys are a triad. Sure. Of things that have to work together. Yeah. 
what's your thoughts when it comes to like fire, EMS, and the sheriff's department? So we work currently. Uh, we work hand in hand. Anytime you know you call nine one one, you're going to have everybody show up for the most part. And um, I think that expanding and trying to hear voices from EMS, <coughs> from the firefighters, all of us working together in St. Lucie County hearing from what the other people have to say not necessarily always the people on the top we need to hear about you know things from the community the people at the bottom people in the middle people on the top just work together and really reestablish that relationship that's what it's about really communicating so we can fix the problems that's where i feel like a, a lot of issues where we can kind of make it better is working together you know this is like my second interview i've done with you <laughs> and it's you're so passionate i am about not you, but about everybody else. Thank you. I, I sincerely <laughs> okay. appreciate that. No, because I, I have a lot going into this. My, my heart is in this campaign. It's not about me. It's bigger than just being the sheriff. It's about the community. It's about the families. It's about everybody uniting and working together to make St. Lucie County a great place for everybody, a safer place. Uh, we need to, you know, just work together. That's really what I'm, I'm passionate about in the community is just working together so we can make it such a greater place. You know, one of the jump starts that you have, <coughs> in my opinion, yes, is that Ken Scarrett did a decent job over the years, and you're coming in, Absolutely. taking over something that's decent, and you're one step ahead of making it better. Well, back to the real estate, Absolutely. I'm boots on the ground in Fort Pierce. I'm invested in Fort Pierce. I own properties in Fort Pierce. I went to school in Fort Pierce. I care about Fort Pierce. I'm in Fort Pierce a lot. A lot of people see me, they say, hey, Steve, how you doing? Hey, Gio, how you doing? And I think that goes a long way when you're running as a candidate to be locally from the, the county that you're running in, going that to school. That. And um, I have a lot of love and a lot of people are supporting me and I'm very thankful and very humbled by that, sincerely. And I think that Honestly, I think that should be a rule. I think if you're a deputy or a sheriff in a county, you should live in that county. God knows, we said it earlier, yeah. one of the saving graces is that you've done real estate. So you know the neighborhoods, you've been to all the schools, you grew up here. I'm very big on school safety, too. I want to like all the parents to know I plan on meeting with all the schools here locally in St. Lucie County in the cafeteria, talking with all the teachers, all the principals, really coming up with a solution so we can stop things before they can happen. Uh, my first year as sheriff, I'm donating a portion of my salary back to the community to help uh, mental health awareness. I come from a veteran family. My dad was in Vietnam, 72, 73, 74. My grandfather was in the Navy. Um, I'm, I'm very big on school safety so we could stop things before they happen god forbid i do not want to see anything happen and i want to stop it before we can and i want to hear from all the teachers i want to hear from all the principals in the schools i want to meet with every single school and see what we can do to improve there's there's a lot of ideas i, I post stuff on facebook all the time um, please like my campaign page Stephen giordano for st Lucie county sheriff and you can see everything i'm actively doing in the community i'm at a lot of events i see um, you yeah I, you're on my facebook i'm, I'm all over the place <laughs> i see you i share I'm, I'm and you guys, yeah. i think i think <laughs> from speaking with you and interviewing you that you'll do a great job thank you i appreciate that. all right so we're running out of time, so tell me, what is your website? Uh, Steven Giordano for Sheriff.com, or you can go to my Facebook page where you see everything I'm actively doing, Steven Giordano for St. Lucie County Sheriff. It has all my credentials on the website, and then if you go to my campaign page, you can see everything I'm doing, all the events I'm going to, um, everybody that I'm helping out currently in the community, and that's what I'm here for. So I'm going to take a guess that the first thing you need from people is for them to sign mm -hmm. the petition the petition yes for you to get in yes sir okay and then the second thing you need is for them to go out and vote absolutely 100% okay? that's what it's about at the end of the day this is my slogan is people over politics i don't care about the parties i just want to do the job at the end of the day i'm here to do the job i'm the best candidate for the job I know the department, I know the community, I'm boots on the ground in Fort Pierce and Port St. Lucie. Let's work together. Help me so I can help you. Every year I'm in office, Wayne, I'm donating 100 turkeys, 100 Christmas trees. This is all minimum. And school supplies for the kids. Every single year I'm in office. Well, you know, you're preaching to the choir because <laughs> I believe the success of my company, we're coming into our 30th year, yeah. is because of our giving back. You know, that's what it's about. I'm in a position now where I can do that. That's why I'm running. I'm passionate about customer service. I care about people. I want to see everybody do good. 
Um, we need a morale boost. We need we need this, you know. To I don't think I was ever in a position to give back as much as I do, <laughs> but I believe that it's the answer to success. Yes. To your karma, and I believe that this is what we were put on this earth to do to help one, one another. One hundred percent. And I think that that's so so important. No matter what you look into, I think doing stuff to help. Your community yes. is so, so important Absolutely. because that helps the people in your community. And I went to school here. I, I'm, I'm, I, I just love the community. I want to see it thrive. I want to see everybody be prosperous. I want to see everybody do good. So Including your kids, which are in this Absolutely community. Kids, yes. <laughs> so you're going to make sure this community stays as safe as possible. Absolutely. I love St. Lucie County. Thank I want to thank you. I appreciate you, Wayne. Thank everybody, you, check out his website. Sign a petition. Call me, I'll come pick you up, or I'll give you a ride, or wherever Let's you need, get I'll come off to your the house. Ground. <laughs> okay, and see the changes in St. Lucie County that we need done, so that we all live safer, okay, and sleep better. I'm everybody, here for you guys. Everybody have a great day, we'll be right back. Thank you so much.